Hey guys, Must Take 550 here, and I want to show you my new programmable auto cash register. I think it's pretty cool. You can set this thing up to uh, take in a payment of whatever item you want, and the number of that item, and then also set it to pay out any item you want and a certain number of that item. Uh, some of the features are uh, you need to use exact change, or it will charge an extra fee in addition to the five cobble per two diamonds. Uh, but if you pay the right amount and then let it process and then pay it again, then it will be at this ratio. Uh, the light here will also push out and co cover up this hopper uh, and light up and let you know if the system is empty so nobody can try to make a payment uh, and then not receive anything. Anyway, so you pay here and it's currently set to five cobbles. So one, two, three, four, five. And it's going to pay out the two diamonds, and they'll show up right here. To demonstrate this use exact change, let's say that I put in 20 items. So it'd be 5, 10, 15, 20. That should pay out four sets of two uh, in the payout. But let's go ahead and just put 20 in. And it will start to process. Uh, you'll notice the system will kind of derp out here a little bit uh, when it's in this processing cycle. Um, so just let it go through, it'll process and make its payments, and it'll eventually get cleared out. And it will put in however many diamonds, there's two from our first transaction, and then it paid out only two sets of two after that. So the customer was charged the processing fee. Uh, also, I'll show you that if the system was to be empty, see the light? will push out, turn on, and block so you can't try to pay. All right, what the system does is it will take the money and store it. Their payment will go into this chest here. Uh, also, the way the system is set up, and I'll show you when we build this, but uh, this block here is set to the number of items that you want the payment to be. So if you want it to be 5 or 10 or 12 or 1, uh, you just put that number of blocks in this dropper here. Uh, this dropper beside it is the one that filters the items. It's an item uh, counter. It doesn't count, but it'll pulse every time a single item comes through. Uh, and you set the filter by filling this up with uh, nine stacks of whatever item you're looking for. And then it will always be one short uh, so that it will process. Uh, also in the system, you would come back here and there's a block that will let you say the number of items you want to pay out. So I want it to pay out two. Uh, so I put two items in here. The items that it pays out are in this dropper, and whatever it's in here will be paid out. So, uh, that's the basics of the programmable auto cash register version 1, so now let's build this bad boy. Here's a list of the items that you're going to need to build this. Uh, 8 redstone torches, 21 redstone, 9 comparators, 1 repeater, 11 droppers, 2 chests, 12 hoppers, 29 regular blocks of whatever sort. Uh, one sticky piston, one light, and one note block. Uh, what I've done is set out a six wide by seven deep block platform here just so I know where I'm building at. Uh, and to start out, just to get my bearings, uh, we'll come over two blocks in. Uh, and that's where you'll mark, uh, we'll put redstone here. Uh, this, we're going to put one redstone torch here. Uh, get a block, and you need to make sure there's two redstone here. Uh, comparator, and this is where the system is going to start. It's going to be the dropper. Uh, this is the dropper that's going to actually filter out the items that you want and pulse every time a single item of that type comes through. A chest here, uh, and then we'll put a hopper on top of this dropper, and that's where the customers will pay in here. I'm going to put in the nine stacks of the items that I want. Uh, completing this system, one redstone here, repeater, redstone, four redstones to connect back around. Uh, also be sure to turn this comparator on. So now it should auto process. All should be 64 except one would be 63. And then if I take a few items and drop in, you'll watch it, it will count as they go through. So that's a basic single item. Uh, doesn't count the items, but it'll pulse every time a single item will go through and this filters it. So it's a very compact uh, system filter. 
item filter. All right, the next step is to add the counter part to here. So we need to add a dropper here and a dropper here facing each other. And then put two comparators here, two blocks, two redstone. Then we need two more droppers up here. Shift, uh, holding shift and placing the items or the crouch button uh, will let you put two hoppers together. So there should be two hoppers face or droppers facing together here and two droppers facing together here. Uh, this one is going to be the dropper that counts the items. So if I want five, let's say five items, we'll put five in. Not six, but five. I can count, I promise you. So put five, doesn't matter what kind of item you put here, just a stackable item. Because uh, remember, this is the dropper here that does the item filtering of the type you want. So this will count for five. And you need to put some sort of a, a non-stackable item in the front dropper here that will work for the reset of the system. All right, next we need to put a block here, two blocks there, two blocks here. Comparator, turn it on, two redstone, and we're gonna put a block on top of here just to split these two redstone paths from each other. All right, so now the system should basically work. We put in five items, two, three, four, five. It should count and you'll notice that it goes through a reset when it's done. All right, so that is the completion of the bottom section. Okay guys, so starting in the next section, we're going to connect the bottom to the top with an RS nor latch. So you start off with this torch here, go one block, do a redstone, come over, start going up, go up two blocks, and make sure it goes over four, should go to the bottom corner of your platform here. So I'm going to want to put a redstone torch here, put one here, and cover it completely with redstone. If you want to test this to make sure it's working, you can put buttons on here so the top's lit, now the bottom is lit, so you know your RS nor latch is working. Alright, the next thing to do is we're going to build the auto clock to start the automatic dispensing of your payment items. So we need two hoppers. These two hoppers should be here, and they should be facing each other. Place one item inside the hopper. You'll notice that they start counting back and forth. And we can stop the counting just for temporary purposes. So it is now stopped. All right, next, put a block down here. One comparator one more block and a redstone and then we'll start building the top counter so we'll put two droppers so these two droppers should come off of this block and they're facing each other and then we're going to need to put two blocks here in front put the comparators on here then build two blocks up, put your torches on, and then we need two more droppers, so one here, and then so now we have these two droppers facing each other, and these two droppers are facing each other just like on the bottom. Okay, uh, also we need to build a bridge to connect these two over here. So we'll put a block here, block here, two redstone. Now let's build the reset part of the system. So we'll build three blocks like this, one here, do the comparator, two redstone and turn the comparator on. All right, so that is the basics of the top system. So it should now, once it's triggered from the bottom system, reaching its goal of five, we'll turn on, uh, and this will start the auto clock running, and it will go based on this one, how many times you want, we'll say two. So two items of any stackable kind. Uh, also, we need to make sure you put a shovel in here to do the reset. So your countable items in the bottom one, your reset can be any non-stackable tool, I think should work fine. 
put those there and then the payment system that's going to pay out what you want whatever item you want will be two droppers one on top of the other your payment item will be here so we will choose I like to pay out diamond two diamond blocks for each five cobble because I'm balling like that that's right so all right also make sure you take one of your payment item put the bulk of your items here uh, prime the system by putting one up here or the first customer will be shorted on their payment okay so the next thing is to build a system to take when this is empty so we'll put a block here and here comparator redstone torch now I need my sticky piston and sticky piston will go here right in front of the torch then you want to put your lamp on your sticky piston and then we need to put one block here beside the light with the redstone torch and one solid block here to transfer power when the light is in position all right next step is to take a chest and put your chest up here that will be where the items your payment items come out for your customer and then you need to connect it to the system so we'll put a dropper or I'll put a hopper on the back so three hoppers up come over two come back three and then one here and make sure all these hoppers are feeding in to each other going down to that chest and that is the completed system you can test it out by going here I'm going to put in five, two, three, four, five. And we watch your chest. And here comes your two payment items. Oh, one other thing is to put the uh, note block just to dress it up a little bit. We'll put a note block here. Set it. And set the note. Uh, make sure it's a happy note. Only a happy note will work for your customers to make sure they have a wonderful day. Uh, so that is the programmable uh, automatic cash register. Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to tweak this some more, add new features as, as I can come up with them, uh, maybe compact it some more. But for now, that is a nice, fully functional system. Uh, you should be able to tile these, uh, like I have multiple systems here. I believe you can space them uh, just one space apart and they should work fine. I did two just uh, to add a little extra room for safety. But anyway, that is the programmable auto cash register version 1.0.